up. It's like two o'clock, which is insane because I think there's something wrong with me. Um, just FYI. And FYI, Jonathan as well, because Jonathan doesn't believe me, but I think there's something wrong with me. I don't know if it's the milk. I'm hoping it was the milk and that that's gone now because I didn't drink any cow's milk today. But I feel like total poo still and I don't know if I have some kind of like iron deficiency or something. Um, I have no idea, but I think I probably need to see a doctor because I honestly have not felt this way like before. I just feel so tired. I slept probably about like 50 billion hours last night and it didn't make a difference. But I'm all kind of pumped, ready to go because my mom is going out for a walk and I'm going to go meet her and bring the dogs because they need to go for a walk. They didn't get a walk yesterday because I was too tired to do anything. I just feel like there's something wrong with me. People are probably going to be like, you're pregnant, oh my god. Okay, don't say that because I have no intention of getting pregnant right now. I don't want to get pregnant right now. Um, I'm only 23 and I have a wedding in three months. So yeah, really don't want to get pregnant right now. So don't say that. But I don't think it's that, I think it's something else. Um, but either way, I'm sure people are going to get excited and say that, but I'm telling you, it's probably not. So don't. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to go for a walk now. Dogs are all excited and I'm not wearing enough because it's cold outside. So we get ready. We go. We just left my mom. Come on. And um, it's really hard to vlog and walk with two dogs. No, I'll be this way. So I'm actually editing right now. Um, I just filmed a video for my own channel for the first time in like bajillion years because of my fatigue. I have not been able to like sit down and film a video. I'm just so wrecked. So, anyways. Um, <clears throat> and I took the dogs for a walk. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use any of that footage because It was like it's impossible to vlog and walk two dogs at the same time Like that's why anytime I go for a walk. It's always a, like a really short burst, you know Like it's never like a long drawn-out like video But um, it's just so impossible because Sina and I'll be like wrapping their leads around my legs and it's just like oh my god I can't do this too many things to think about at the same time. Plus there was a dead rat on our walk, it was so gross. Like every time we walked past, which was twice total, I had to like make sure that they were so far away because it's so dangerous. Anyway, ooh, I get shivers just thinking about it. My friend Rebecca is coming over today. Um, actually in about 10 minutes she's supposed to come over um, because she's borrowing a dress from me for a party that she's going to, a 1920s um, like themed party, which is really cool. So I'm gonna actually give her a wedding invitation. She doesn't know that yet, but I'm gonna give her a wedding invitation like today when she comes. I think my other friend Kim's coming as well. I'm gonna give hers, her, hers too, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so then Jonathan is gonna, is gonna come home and um, I think he's at Harvey Norman right now looking for Oh my god, yeah, because we only have one camera right now before we had two. Well, actually, before we had two, and then we only have one for ages, but now we want two because we want to do, like, the double vlogging thing. And, yeah, our camera has been broken for about, like, a month now, and they said it would take, like, two weeks, which it hasn't at all to fix, I mean. Harvey Norman did. So Jonathan's checking, like, what the hell is going on there because Harvey Norman are not the best. But anyways, hopefully we'll have two cameras and then we can do like double vlogging or you know what I mean? Like he vlogs when he's at work and I vlog here and blah blah blah. So just back from Harvey wasting my life, Norman, and uh, I came into him and I, I gave him three weeks, right? Because one was like, oh, it'll be like two weeks after I had to wait a week for them to tell me. So it took them one week to tell me it was going to take two weeks. It took them three weeks to take the two weeks and I go in today and I knew there was something up because the, um, the girl goes hold on and I was coming out and I was obviously the manager or something you know and a guy comes out in a suit and stuff and he's like hi um, like, this is this is just ridiculous you know I've, I've never I don't know what's going on like because it, it, apparently they were called like another two weeks for parts or some I don't know what like and I was just sitting there just like, and I was sitting I was standing there looking at him like you know I didn't get like raid or anything because I'm beyond that now I'm just like I'm like fed up you know, you know when you get like annoyed with someone and then you just get fed up. And I was just looking at him and it's just like, this is ridiculous. Like this is actually ridiculous. Like it's gonna take a month, a month. Like 
So he said, okay, he's going to call me tomorrow at 12 o'clock, you know, and if he says to me, like, I'm really sorry, he's going to take another week or so, like, I don't know, what am I supposed to say to him? Like, stuff you, man. <laughs> stuff it up your ass, Harry. Boo! Because I'm big, this lesson. Chippa, chippa, chippa. <laughs> anyway, Marlon's story. Harvey Norman. You guys, go back out and punch more Harvey Norman people in the face. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. And you know what? They are, they are lucky. They are lucky. They don't like. They don't have a Twitter account or a Facebook or any sort of social media, which is ridiculous in today's day and age. But however, they are so lucky because I would be. I would be on that, yo. I'd be like hashtagging that and at replying that and all like, yo, yo, yo. You better watch your back, yo. Harvey, yo, Norman, yo. <laughs> I'd be all like ghetto superstar, yo. <laughs> I got a little, a little prize for the guys, right? Because since we've been in Cork, we find it really hard to find a good groomer, you know, like, um, we saw that place Creedence, Creedence Doggy Daycare, you know, but then we went to the open day and, like, we were ignored, you know, and I, I don't know, service is important to me, so I didn't get a good vibe from them, so we didn't use them, and then I haven't really found, there's a guy out in Kinsale that looks pretty good, but then it's, like, out in Kinsale, so... You know, we are like, you know what, we'll do it ourselves. And then it kind of worked out, but I was only using like a human one, so I decided today to invest, yo, in this da -da 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 -da! professional wall pet care thingy bobbins. But it's kind of cool, because look, you open this little thing up, right? And it's not kind of cool. It's over here, though. Look, isn't it really cool? And you know what else is cool about it? We just, oh yeah, cordless, yo. It's supposed to be like quieter than the other one. And apparently, it's got like um, a rotary blade. Uh, USA Animal Grooming. Aw, oh, yeah. Apparently, it's got a rotary blade on it, which means that it cuts, like, it'll cut through the mats really, really easier. Whereas the human ones, um, they don't have rotary blades. They're designed just like for cutting human hair. So, it's supposed to be like not as good for animals anyway. So, uh, looking forward to giving this thing a run now. Now, I know it was like 80 euros to buy that little dog room because I wanted. I don't want to buy a cheap one, I want to buy a really good one, so it's like 80 euros, but then if we're paying like 40 or 50 euros per dog, per haircut, every like, you know, I mean, we're doing it every like six weeks or something like that, so I suppose it's actually quite cost effective, provided I do a good job. <laughs> so how would you rate this experience, Abby? <laughs> Show them, look, look how smooth and even it all is, huh, isn't it really good? It's really hard to get around the bum bum, which is definitely, um... A hard area to do, but we're we're getting there. We're learning as we go, isn't that right, Albie? Albie, Albie, oh, are we not impressed with Daddy right now, huh? Come on. But look at some of these things. Like, look at these bits. Like, they're even like, like split ends. Isn't that right, Albie? Good boy, huh? We're getting you done, huh? Maybe I should um, maybe I should set up jo Jofus's Jofus's pooches. Wouldn't that be so cool? A little poochie parlor? Huh? One by us? That would be so cool. Would you would you say would you allow me to cut your puppy's hair? <laughs> or babysit the puppy. <laughs> I don't know, wouldn't that be such a cool The only problem is I'd never give anyone back. But you do know, you know what? They'd be in good hands and while you're in the holidays you can watch the daily vlog and see your dog every day. <gasps> this could be the best thing ever, Albie. What do you think? Do we have a drill? Shake hand. Shake hand. Shake hand, shake hand, shake hand. Good boy. <laughs> we have a deal. Hold on, let's uh, let's pause the music. Who's this? Ron Sexsmith. Still time. Love it. Pauses. Okay. Alvi, let's have a look at you. Oh, do you like your haircut? Do you like your haircut? Do you like your haircut? Huh? Yes, you do, don't you? Good boy, huh? Now, who's next? Who's next? Oh my goodness, hair everywhere. We're gonna get done, Zena? Get a haircut? Yeah! You guys wanna see what my little girl looks like? This is what my girl used to look like. <laughs> oh no. Zena! Zena! Come here! Come here! Zena! You're not gonna come to me? Do you hate me now? Do you hate me? Do you like your haircut? Do you like your haircut? Do you? Come on. Do you treat? Do you want treat? Treat for Zena! You have to come get your treat though. Show everyone your haircut. Do we like it? 
He looks so much smaller. You actually look taller than Albie now. Look at my two little haircuts. Oh no. Isn't that so cute? Can we show mommy your haircut? Can we show mommy your haircut? Mommy's got loads of friends downstairs, so you guys can't come because they're not, you know, vloggity friends. Okay, you guys want treats? You guys want treats? Treat for Cena! Uh, 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 uh. Treat for Albie! Yeah, you guys want more treats? You guys so cute? Ooh. 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 <laughs> She's trying to get ahead. <laughs> She's trying to. Oh, Cena! Good boy, Albie. Oh, it's Albie. Okay, guys. Is this good? Huh? One little treat left. It's one treat left. Huh? Oh, Albie. Cena! Good stuff, guys. Yeah! Was that good? Num nums! <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. Look how much hair came off them. I could make another dog. And that was like after I cut them yesterday as well, remember? Oh my goodness. Look how much hair came off this time. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh well. Job's done. <laughs> Is it kitty pie? Is it kitty pie? Aren't you so cute? Aren't you so cute? <laughs> Such a little cutie. Oh my other little cutie pie. We haven't forgotten about you. And you're super cuteness. Super fralalachalistic cuteness. A tortellini. Would you like some tortellini? I would like some tortellini. And all his friends were over, so I was banished to the room. Banished. Be gone, gentlemen, for the ladies have taken the room. Isn't that right? No, you could have come down whenever you want. I did come down a few times. But you had lady things to discuss. Lady things that the gentlemen aren't privy to the lady things. Because the ladies, you were practicing your curtsies, weren't you? Yeah. And you were discussing how to how to make quilts and what swapping recipes. That's that's what ladies do. <laughs> Come on guys. I gave them their invitation to the uh, Rebecca had a stamp on it, so I was like, stamp? <laughs> delivered. Yeah, she was like, I can send myself, because it has her name on it, and it has a stamp, but she was like, I can send myself something. I was like... Take the stamp off, like... No. <laughs> <laughs> she can post it to herself. Yeah, exactly. For the thrill of it all. Do you want to feed them? Just give them... Do you not feed them anymore? 60 and 80, guys. Pick one of these. You see, I personally like to just, like, kind of pour in a random amount rather than sort of measuring out a 60 and an 80. Yeah, I know. Okay. So you guys are going to watch the Eurovision. I think the Eurovision semi-final is on Thursday. But um, Team Jedward all the way. Lipstick. Are you going to, are you going to vote for Jedward? I can't. Aww. 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 But when you guys are... Uh, in another country that's a part of the Eurovision Song Contest and you're thinking to yourself, I can't vote for myself, yo! What am I gonna do? Ireland, 10 points. Irlando, 10 points. Instead of Ireland, Nipois, Ireland, no points. That's what it always says. <laughs> Give us an old point, would ya? The little lads and they're dancing, diddly dancing. Jedward for the win. Woo! We're Team Jedward. Is that a, what, what, um, Leave me a comment too if you know the name of your uh, your singer from your Eurovision song. I know in the UK they've got Blue. Remember that band, Blue? Oh really? Yeah, yeah, the boy band. Yeah, they're representing England. <laughs> Think they can beat Jedward? <laughs> Have you seen their hair and the globe and the dancing and the? Not a chance. <laughs>